If you're looking to get ahead in your career, you might have thought about going back to school and getting a degree. No doubt. And tonight, federal regulators are warning consumers about DeVry University and misleading claims DeVry has made to get students in the door. Our consumer investigator Jennifer Krause tells us what the national chain of for-profit schools did that got it into trouble. DeVry University was sued today by the Federal Trade Commission for misleading consumers. According to the FTC, DeVry stretched the truth when it advertised just how well its students do after they graduate. According to the lawsuit, DeVry exaggerated the numbers of its graduates who get well-paid jobs in their fields. DeVry claimed in ads that 90% of its students got new jobs in their field of study within six months of graduating. But federal regulators say while impressive, it's not true. Turns out in coming up with that 90% success rate, DeVry counted students who'd already been working at their jobs before even enrolling at DeVry. And the company even counted students who were not working in their field of study, like a student who specialized in health services management at DeVry, but who was working as a server in a restaurant. DeVry is the third largest for-profit school like this in the nation. It has dozens of campuses around the country and also offers classes online. Here in Nashville, they have a campus over on Perimeter Hill Drive in Antioch. The school here is not specifically named in today's lawsuit, but it is one of the more than 50 campuses operated by the parent company named in the suit. The lawsuit also claims that DeVry overstated the average earnings of its graduates. According to DeVry, its students who graduated with bachelor's degrees got paid 15 percent more than graduates of all other colleges and universities because they went to DeVry. But federal regulators, though, say there's just no data to back that up. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5 Investigates. The U.S. Department of Education also took action against DeVry today in a related action. The department told DeVry it had to stop making the same sorts of misleading claims in its ads because institutions must be accurate in their marketing and recruiting of prospective students.